We got the opportunity recently to check out the new Caterpillar 336E Hybrid. Here's Kit from Caterpillar with everything you need to know. The base machine is a standard 336E excavator. So when you look at the same, the bucket, the coupler, the stick, the booms, the, uh, the upper structures, the lower structures, it's the same mainframe, the same lower structures as our standard 336E excavator. We wanted to do that one because we wanted parts commonality to maintain if we have issues there's parts available for our customers right away very simple and easy you know for them to uh, keep it up and going um, we come to the side of the machine here you know we'll talk about uh, as you can see this is where electronics are we have a couple circuit breakers in there um, very easy the blue buttons in there what that is is uh, protects the expensive components it protects the expensive electric components of our excavator such as the ECMs the batteries the different parts there compared to fuses push them in, it's like a circuit breaker in your house, you flip it up, go back, compared to a fuse that you have to replace. Little things, just to, if you're out in the woods, you're out in the bush, you can uh, get up and go in a lot quicker there as well. Um, we have our AC condenser core separate from the other panel. We don't want to double stack it all, so we have an electric fan on the side there. Make, make, make sure our operator is uh, protected and cool there as well. Our uh, electronics, uh, everything is uh, you know plastic, um, navy braided, color coded, uh, numbered, sealed and what that does is really uh, gives that customers hate electronics I never heard a customer that said I want more electronics on a machine and that's one of the reasons why we didn't want to go with electric but we want to make sure that dirt reliable and durable this is a uh, everything is a uh, plastic um, protected when it's mounted it's plastic compared to steel we want to make sure that steel rubs wears you know abrasions and uh, wears it out so where uh, plastic does not do that come over on this side of the machine you know this is the new our new Hydraulic, uh, hydraulic cooler, engine radiator, air to air, uh, air to air after cooler, and a fuel cooler now that we have as well. You know, we wanted it single pane, single pane and make it very efficient, simple, um, easy flow through. We have our new doors, easy serviceability, big doors to get in in case you need to service it. Three millimeter holes, very simple to blow by when you blow through here, your, your hydraulic cooler cores as well, sealed right up there, very simple and easy. So. If you look at this here, this is our new ESP pump. So electronic standardized programmable pump. That's that portion right there. And that's one of the three main building blocks that makes this the 336E hybrid machine. We go into a little more detail on the E-series excavator, some of the features. We have quick evacs. This makes it uh, engine oil and hydraulic oil. So you can just suck your, put your pumps on, have your service truck come in suck all the hydraulic oil out, suck all the engine oil out to service it so people don't have to get underneath, take the panels off, very simple and easy. We're trying to make sustainability is more portion this to make it easier, quicker, and to, uh, to make it more efficient here. This is our hydraulic, or excuse, our engine oil filter. These yellow point here, this is what we call SOS port, scheduled oil sampling port. This is where Caterpillar recommends after a certain interval, take a a sample of the oil, a live oil that's going through there, Take, send it back to your cat dealer. They know exactly the oil's good, bad, if there's, um, for the hydraulic portion of it's right there as well. If there's any particular uh, different types of metal, metallic metal, different things, they know what those metals are from because Caterpillar builds the majority, you know, the components, the systems. If something's wearing, they know what's wearing from the metal that's on there. So a lot of things that they're coming through here. Uh, Fuel, this is your primary fuel filter. This is your uh, electric fuel priming pump that's standard on the machine now as well. So when you have your machines, your filters, spin them on, they're dry, turn the machine on for about 30 to 60 seconds. It pre-fills all the filters and gets them up there as well. This fuel, primary fuel filter, is uh, fuel pump as well, is also the pump for our diesel particulate filter. That's for our tier four emissions. And when we go up on top of the machine, I'll show you that diesel particulate filter that reduces our particulate matter that burns it off. Talking about the main components that we have, you know, our ESP pump we talked about on the side down there. This is our new ACS valve that's down there. And this is our hydraulic hybrid swing system. So let's talk about our ACS valve. Our ACS valve, adaptive control system valve. What that does is it electronically controls all that hydraulic fluid going through that valve. So it knows exactly if it's boomed down it can reuse that oil because it's a lot of pressure all that weight pushing that down we can reuse it and put it in the top of the boom or switch it to the stick cylinder or wherever 
to optimize that hydraulic fluid. This is the C9.3 engine. It's with this, this is what we call a diesel particulate filter. This is what make, gets your tier four interim emissions. This is what takes your particulate matter. It stores it up there and then automatically, whenever it needs to, it'll burn it off. So what this does is it has a uh, spark plug right here, puts fuel into this canister automatically, burns it off while you're working, while you're in idle, whenever it needs it, it automatically does it. You don't need to do anything. We want to make it simple for the operator. We want to make it easy. Operators are becoming harder and harder to get and they're becoming very younger and if we can make it simple and easy for them, it's just going to automatically work. They don't need to do anything. Try to make the machines that are pretty smart so it can understand and do it itself. So. Keeping the machine cool is the is a critical part for the machine. We don't want to overheat with 52 degree ambient cooling. You can in this high fan here, sucks everything through, pulls it through, makes it very simple and easy. With a square design compared to a rectangle, you cover the majority of the area to get that, to maintain that high ambient cooling ability there. So this swing motor is the same swing motor that's in your 336E. No different. The only thing different is the top and your and your uh, uh, swing uh, hydraulic hybrid uh, swing system here, valve. But this accumulator makes up the difference and stores that energy to always have that pressure on that in the swing motor to allow us to keep the same durable, reliable components from our standard machines. If I'm tearing down a high-rise building and I'm, and I'm going up and I'm using that what we call twist of wrist or rotating grapple and things like this and just going like this and not swinging, it's not going to use any of the swing, any of the accumulators. But do you still save fuel? Yes, that's the key with our solution, right? You don't have to swing to save fuel because we talked about our reduced RPMs. So from 1800 to 1650 RPMs, you're saving fuel automatically because of our new ESP pump that's being more efficient in just the circuits of a, you know your, of your demolition or your forestry or your harvesting has different things like that where you're just using the flow. That's where you're becoming the most efficient in just optimizing and reusing all that energy as much as possible in that hydraulic way. When you're swinging, that's where the accumulators come in. When you're swinging, and that's where you're saving. But you're saving fuel no matter what you're doing. You're saving it in all the functions of the part of the machine that's being used. What a great new advancement in technology from Caterpillar. Read all about it in Earth Movers and Excavators magazine.